Idaho Falls Pediatrics, where you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy. Hey guys, welcome back. Seven questions with Emmy. Today I'm here at Chishon Bannock. I'm talking with Casey Dixon. She, well, she is Mrs. Chishon Bannock. Yeah. Hi guys. I'm Casey Dixie. I am 2022-2023 Miss Shoshone Bannock. I represent and I am an, an ambassador for my tribe here in Fort Hall, Idaho. We are just north of Pocatello. So should we get started with the questions? Yes. Okay, question number one. How did you become Miss Shoshone Bannock? How did I become Miss Shoshone Bannock? That's a great question. So Miss Shoshone Bannock, just like any uh, title like Miss Universe, we go through a pageant. And there was two girls this year, and we have to fill out an application. And the application is, it took me about a month to fill out. It's pretty lengthy with a lot of questions. And you have to be 18 to 24 years old to run for this title. Um, I had to fill out the application. It was accepted. Once the application process is over, we have a week-long pageant where we compete in singing, dancing, traditional songs, and dance and cooking traditional meals. I also did a talent, a traditional talent, and a speech. That's cool. Yeah. I'm glad you won. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So what do you do when, you, what do you do as Miss Shoshone Bannock? As Miss Shoshone Bannock, I represent my tribe across the nation. I'm an ambassador for my tribe. So I basically travel around to different powwows, um, different cultural events and conferences across the nation to represent my tribe and let everyone know that we're still here as Native American people. So are you basically like royalty to Fort Hall then? Yes, I am the queen, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, <laughs> thank so you. So I can say I've interviewed a queen before. Yes, you can say that. Yes. That's cool. Um, tell me about Native American history. Native American history. So we have been on the North America continent for thousands of years, and there's 564, I believe the number went up recently, but there's 564 federally recognized tribes across the US, and there's also more in Canada. And we uh, have different cultural beliefs, it just depends on what tribe you come from, but we're all pretty much similar, and we are spiritual people who live off the land and we've adapted to the Western culture and the modern civilization. So we don't li live in teepees anymore. We drive cars, we have jobs, and we live in houses. Um, what is your favorite Native American food? My favorite Native American food? Oh, I love that question because my favorite Native American food would be our traditional berries. They're called choke cherries. In my language, it's called donam. And basically, you just go to the mountains and you pick choke cherries in August when they're ripe. And you smash them up and make jam and pudding. That sounds good. It's really good. Um, when you were my age, what did you want to be when you grew up? When I was your age, I wanted to be a doctor. And growing up, I lived in a political family. So I wanted to do a doctor and stay away from politics. But I ended up going to college and I graduated from Idaho State University and I took political science classes and I graduated with a, business, a bachelor's in business management. That's cool. Um, what happens here at the powwow? So at the powwow, different tribes come together and they travel here and we all celebrate by dancing and singing together and we just kind of display our different dance styles to one another. So we basically split up uh, each dance group into age groups and each age group dances when the announcer announces you to come out to dance. So we just sing and dance and we also have some vendors selling beadwork outside of the powwow. Um, what advice do you have for me? Advice? Yeah. That is an awesome question. So an advice for you is don't give up on your goals. Remember what goals you have right now and do anything you can to achieve them. Don't give up on getting your education because education is important. So I encourage you to go to college and continue that secondary education. Thank you so much for talking yeah. with me today. You're welcome. Make sure you come to Shoshone Bannock and maybe you could see Miss Shoshone Bannock. 
Yeah. Thank you. And then you can say you met a queen too. <laughs> Bye. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, new set of questions and interviews are posted every Thursday. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Love you guys. Bye. Idaho Falls Pediatrics, proud of supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy.